Clark County. It will make roadside panhandling illegal. You don't see it as much in Clark County as you do in Portland, but county commissioners, they passed the ordinance yesterday. So we sent Cor Harlan to see what impact the measure might have. He is going beyond the headlines tonight. Well, Dan and Jenner, first of all, uh, Clark County commissioners think that this will eliminate the potential for any accidents that may occur as uh, people jump in and out of traffic there to take money. But also, secondarily here, they hope the passage of this ordinance will help a lot of people get the drug and alcohol treatment they desperately need. His street name is Cheese Whiz, taking possession of a warm blanket from a passing driver. He's one of the many panhandlers at the I-5 off-ramp at Mill Plain in downtown Vancouver. When he was finished panhandling, he had a few minutes to talk with us, so I could ask him the million-dollar question about panhandling. What do most people, do you think, do with the dough that they, they collect off the freeway ramps? A lot of them, uh, I hate to say it, but it's in a lot of reality, a lot of it goes towards drugs and alcohol. What Cheese Whiz was telling me is exactly what Clark County Sheriff Sergeant Randon Walker told me this past summer as he prepared to help commissioners draft the ordinance to stop roadside panhandling. We met at an abandoned motel in Hazeldale where he says a man named James lived. James didn't actually live in the motel. He was living on a piece of cardboard in a doorway at the motel. He was under the influence of alcohol a lot. Sergeant Walker told me James was feeding his addiction to drugs and alcohol with money he earned from roadside panhandling. This is what kind-hearted, sweet, wonderful people are giving James. James isn't buying water. Right. James isn't buying chicken soup or Gatorade. James is buying steel reserve. You get the picture here. James feeds his addiction with money. He gets panhandling, and that prevents him from seeking help he needs to get healthy. I went back to Cheese Whiz and asked him what happens when panhandlers are actually required to stop. If they are prohibited and restricted from collecting money on the off-ramps, what are they going to do to get money? Well, they'll go to stealing. And, you know, then you're right back with another situation on your hands. Sergeant Walker says that is actually what deputies expect to happen, or a small rise in small-time petty crimes. But he says when ex-panhandlers start stealing, they will go before a judge who can actually make them either go to jail or to get help with drug and alcohol addiction many of them so desperately need. Now, this ordinance will begin being enforced within the next six months or so here in Clark County. I just talked with Sergeant Walker about an hour ago. I asked about James, that person up there in Hazeldale. He says James is still very happy and still, unfortunately, very drunk most of the time, feeding his addiction to alcohol by panhandling. He's trying to keep him warm and get him the treatment he so very much needs. Live here in Vancouver, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Dan.